Hi, my name is Kelvin, and along with my partners Alex and Jeremiah, this is our I Am 3D project presentation. So for our I Am 3D project idea, we came to the uh, conclusion of using um, additive, additive manufacturing to create uh, compressor blades for turbine engines. So I figured I'd give you a little bit of background on why a jet engine works and why a compressor blade is uh, needed. Um, jet engines at their core are basically an internal combustion engine, yet instead of providing torque, they need to provide thrust. Um, to be able to function, uh, jet engines have to pull in oxygen just like any other con uh, internal combustion engine. That oxygen is then compressed using a compartment shape much like a cone. This cone... Compressor blades use a long and complex means of manufacture. This cone is studded with fan blades, little tiny fan blades that as uh, it progresses up the column, the fan blades get smaller and smaller, pushing and squeezing the air that they suck in into a really compressed spot. Once it gets to the uh, combustor, that air is then mixed with uh, fuel of any kind, jet fuel, whatever, and then combusted, ignited, and since it's so compressed and so dense, it creates a really violent combustion. That combustion is then, then expelled out the back end of the jet engine. Um, and some of that energy is harvested through a turbine. All that high flowing gas goes through this turbine which in, ten, in, in turn harvests some of the energy, putting it back up front toward the compressor. This compressor then again continues the reaction cycle. The rest of the energy is then blown out the back of the engine as a hot exhaust or thrust, which drives the engine forward. Now, that compressor as well as the turbine utilize all these small compressor blades and they're under extreme pressures and extreme forces. Compressor blades use a long and complex means of manufacture. Additive manufacturing is a cheaper means of production. First of all, it's a much shorter process. All that needs to happen is the 3D printing of the project itself, the finishing of it, and then the final testing. 3D printing also allows less waste. You leave that all. Additive manufacturing also allows for more dynamic designs. This means that anyone with GE is already using this technology on their current GE 9X jet engine. We hope to see in the future that more companies follow suit. As you can see, additive manufacturing is definitely the route to the future. Thank you for watching our video.